Bill, are you watching it? Yeah, of course you are, of course you're watching it. Is there a proper drone pilot in a gaff? Because he ain't got a clue. in my apartment in Santa Monica watching me and Bill on the telly. It doesn't get much better than this. To be honest, this is probably the first time that it's fully registered that we have got our own F2 TV series in America. This, this, doesn't, this doesn't air in England. You can only see this in America on NBC Sports. It was always our goal to be on TV have our own TV show. Yes. When we first started YouTube, that was always that was always the goal, to make the transition from YouTube to TV. Well, and we've got it now. It's, it's, I think to do that justice, it's a massive box tick. Right yeah. I don't want to get emotional. But it is emotional. Bill, you watching it? Of course I am, mate. Listen, I can't believe it. We're sitting here in America watching our own TV. It's unbelievable, isn't it? To think how far we've come. But it's incredible, mate. Sat here in Santa Monica watching me and you on the telly. Yeah, I know, I know. Fair play to you. Couldn't have done it right there. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you back on. I'll let you, I'll let, I'll let you finish watching. <laughs> Sorry, guys, slippery out there, bro. That was dirty. That was dirty. That was dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Different level. Some of the trainers he's got here, unbelievable. Where'd you go? Where'd you get them from? Don't say that. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Can't even tell you. But what what we can tell you is that's what we can tell you. Some of the most exclusive trainers you can think of, you can imagine, are in this store. I'm not going to tell you what it's called. <laughs> But if you do want to find it, we have got a few spare. It's actually a known fact that um, a lot of the big, big stars, I mean, Yeezys are hard to get a hold of for anyone, right? They actually come to this store here in LA um, to get the trainers, yeah, so. Think of the biggest star you can think of. Yeah, have you got it? I've got, I've got it. Yeah, he's been there. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna drop any names like Beckham or anyone, even though Beckham does come in. But we're not gonna say that, obviously, that we're not gonna drop him in. We're gonna drop him back. Let's get back to shopping. I mean, <laughs> back to shopping. <laughs> what we're doing now is we're filming for it's called football. It's the last filming day. Um, <laughs> 
characters of Bunny Bits. Can you guess who I'm meant to be? <laughs> so we're trying to do a drone shot now for the, uh, for the TV show. The problem is, the drone is really light and it's really windy, so it's just as hard to fly than for me to control the drone as for Billy to hit it. So, try and let's watch, watch this next one, you see what happens. So we need to, so you're going to go straight up and you're going to nail it. A drone pilot in a gas because he ain't got a clue. I got it. Hold on, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Um, today's a really important day, well, afternoon, evening. Um, I'm going to tattoo my body for the first time in my life. Never thought I'd get a tattoo before, wasn't interested in them um, until my dad passed away in November. And I kind of feel like I want to mark my body in memory of him and out of respect for him. Um, I'm going to get um, some Roman numerals of the date he passed away. And I had this discussion with Jez and he said, um, don't you think that's a negative thing to, to mark your body with the date that he passed away? And I said, well, the way I look at it is that I've been so lucky throughout my whole life. I've got a lovely family, I've got a daughter, a son, I've got a lovely wife, a brilliant family. My job's been as perfect as can be. Been so, so lucky with everything. And then one day, out of the blue my dad passes away and it makes me realize that at any moment in your life no matter how lucky you think you are that can get stripped away from you it's going to remind me every time i look at the tattoo that don't take anything for granted and um, be be as good as you possibly can be every day love your family this tattoo will just solidify the meaning behind what, what the reason why i'm doing it i guess thinking should i ring my mum now i feel like you know, talking about it brings all the, 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 the scenarios and the problems up that I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get it done, I'm gonna get it done. It's like my stomach's got butterflies in. Do you know when you're about to take a penalty in a cup final and um, you get them butterflies in your stomach? Well, I don't get them in cup finals but I've got them now. <laughs> Like that, are you? How you doing? You alright? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
um, owns this place has booked me in. So um, hopefully I should jump the queue. That's actually nice. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I wouldn't make it too small. Yeah, yeah, I've done it too small. Yeah, I was thinking whether, can you reckon you can condense that gap a little yeah, bit sure. more? or um, It's actually quite nice. Been to the bathroom three times and um, I still feel nervous and um, yeah. Yeah, ready? Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, with the Hi, you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm a tattoo so... Oh, yeah. Have a seat. You'll be alright. Yeah, I'm nervous. Are we putting this like a cross like that? I'm not, um... Where on your arm do you want to put this? So basically, um, I'm going to show you a picture of how I, I, drew, I drew this on. Um, like there. a reminder that I'm never going to take nothing for granted and um, wake up every day and do the best I possibly can. I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. 